Yes guys, welcome back to the channel and to another video and today we have a player review for you, Marcus Turam from Borussia Mönchengladbach and he's a striker, French striker and he has pretty nice stats as you can see so far but he has a few downsides, he has 3 stars, 3 star, and he is um, 6 foot 4 so he's going to feel a bit clunky, him being 6 foot 4 he has 82 balance and 64, no 64 balance sorry and 82 agility. So that's going to be a problem for you. But he's a solid option with 93 pace, 90 shooting and 91 dribbling. So it's we come up against this team. A very solid team to be honest. Nice defence. So nice challenge for him. And here we have Butragano going through. And um, uh, Turan wins it back there. Through the interception. Um, gets it back. Nice fake shot. Puts the defenders away and he misses that. I'm doing a voiceover by the way so this video is pre-recorded. So I can't remember everything that happens in this video. But he missed that shot there. And I I think it should have. I think we should have taken an extra touch. Might have finished it. Here he wins that aerial duel as you can see. The 6 foot 4 coming into play there. And Butrus through a net and he finesses it at the bottom corner. So he's going to be amazing in the air for you. He, he has got that 99 strength, but 62 aggression, so I'm not sure how that's going to play out for you. Uh, 85 heading accuracy comes with it as well. And here we're going forward, we lose the ball. Um, Turam has it there. Alexander Arnold, we lose it. I don't know if we concede here, do we? No, we do not. Nice tackle. Turam, nice pass to Butragueno. Butragueno, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to hold it here and wait for him. I uh, tried to square it, um, sh shows nice strength there, gets back to the ball and shoots and it hits the player on the line. EA clearly do not want me to score there, but it's fine, we'll carry on with the match. Uh, Butra is sent through here, nice finesse, top ins, very nice, and we're 2-0 up. Alright, so far he's got one assist, he's doing, he's playing that target man role really nicely, but we have not put him on target man, we've put him on getting behind. I think we'll put him on target man in the second half. Um, but right now he's still playing that target man role while Butra's getting in behind getting the goals he's got one assist so far not too bad and I think we concede here from kickoff he gets a lucky bounce back here Baggio finishes it for him and we're 2-1 we've conceded there this card feels like a Thierry Henry card or like a David Trezeguet card kind of to be honest but like a faster version of him because he's got that 93 pace of course um, he, he feels a bit clunky because uh, uh, because of obvious reasons. Six foot four, the balance, agility. I think we concede here again, and they're equal two two. Not not ideal, but it is what it is. We're two two. Um, half time approaches, and now we do the changes. Now we put him on target man, and we see how it plays out for us. We bring on James and um, Trossard for our wide cams and put them on drift wide. And that's the only changes we make. Um, on foot bins, actually, the most voted chemistry style is engine. But I'm using a sniper on him because I think that's the better option. Because you don't need a passing boost, to be honest. Well, you can have a passing boost. Because his passing is not amazing, but it's, it's alright. And here, um, I think that's James sending him through. Nice little ball roll. And he goes into the space. Now his weak foot is absolutely awful. Three star weak foot. He just roofs it out of the stadium. Absolutely terrible there on his weak foot. But there's more clips to come to show how much better he is on his normal foot. His dominant foot. Um, okay here. Pull the keeper out of position. And on his dominant foot. He finesses it. Bottom corner. See very nice goal there. Because that's not his weak foot. So bear that in mind when you're getting this card. Weak foot's not the ideal situation for you. I feel like he's going to be just an option for people if they get him. I don't think he's going to start for most people. But he, he's a decent card. He's a decent card. It, because he's free, I mean. Him being free. there's not Nothing can go wrong. As long as he fits in your team. Alright, here we... There was a bit of lag in this game, by the way. I apologise for that. Um... The connection wasn't amazing. Butragano gets a header there and we score. And we're 4 2 up now. I don't know how we got the header there, but we did. Thank God. Um, we always want more goals. And he takes off Baggio, brings on a Bamiang. 
um, not not too much of a problem for me because we are 42 up um, here I uh, watch this nice pace he gets a little acceleration there puts Robertson behind him and what a shot what a strike 97 shot power 90 finishing obviously gets boosted even more with that sniper cam style um, amazing there as you can see top bins nice powerful strike and it's 5-2 And that is going to end the game, guys. Um, I say this card was a 6.5 out of 10, in my opinion. He's not the best, but he'll do the job for you. Two, is two, two goals, one assist isn't too bad. Um, I'm going to go back to the batch highlights. You can just watch that while I talk over this video. Um, um, I, I think there's other options out there if you just want a Bundesliga person or even a French, pers uh, French striker. There's better options, but he's free, so you can go for it. So that was my opinion on Marcus Turam. Um, if you're getting him, good luck on the objectives. Objectives, sorry. Thanks for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.